Okay, everybody, quiet on the set. We're gonna do a little video here about mangoes in the middle of winter. So right now it's February 4th. I would say that is the dead of winter, at least here in Northern California. Look outside, the clouds are roaring in. It's rainy and blustery. The Pineapple Express is dominating. And um, I am uh, sitting here with <laughs> my little heater and uh, my mango tree. I decided to bring it in just for the video. It probably appreciates the little heater. We haven't had too bad of a winter this year. It's probably, I don't even, we've had a little bit of frost, maybe, maybe uh, low 30s, um, maybe high 20s at the absolute minimum where I am here in Lafayette, maybe down in the valley, they've gotten colder, but it's been a pretty mild winter so far, so fingers crossed. But what we're doing right now is I'm wondering if I am setting a record for um, Cal or California produced mangoes this late in the season. So something really peculiar <laughs> happened last year. Are we still rolling? Yes. Sorry, the dog is in the way. Dog, dog, move <clears throat> dog. Okay, um, something very peculiar happened last year in the sense that we had a really cool, prolonged, cold, not devastatingly freezing, but very prolonged cold winter and spring. And so the mangoes that you would expect to be fully ripened by October were not by any means. They were still hard and green and we had to wait quite a while. I just picked this one here about three or four weeks ago and uh, it's taken that long to sort of soften up. We ate some prematurely. Quiet on the set. Quiet on the set. And uh, we reported that they weren't that tasty, but then I waited a little longer and they got really soft. So you can see here, see, look, soft, soft, soft. Just like a really nice peach. Yes, yeah, so we waited long enough and they were really good. So I'm gonna show one off here. And I started thinking about it and I thought, you know what? I mean, February 4th, the mango season in Florida starts, it, you know, hit, hit the trees about March, they bloom. And then they sit on the trees and they're ready to go. Some of them by May and certainly all of them by September. The mango season is totally over in 40. You just can't get mangoes before that or after that. Now in California, everything's delayed because we don't have nearly as much heat buildup as they have consistently. And uh, our mango season really is, oh, maybe September. Uh, videos over here. Maybe September through November or so. Um, but like I said, I picked this thing in mid January and now it's taken three weeks to ripen up. So I'm wondering, is this the latest mango ever eaten in California? I want to, I want some comments. If you, if you disagree, you got to say why, because I want to know why and what mangoes you ate that were later than that. But look at this. It's just going to cut like butter now because it's so soft. It's going to be super bright inside. These things will actually color up off the tree. I picked this pretty green and hard, and now it is colorful, sunset colors, and uh, it is beautifully soft. All right, what's it gonna look like on the inside? Oh yeah, that classic mango color right there. Now you wonder when they ripen in winter if they're gonna really have the sugar content that they would have had it during a normal season. Well, I'm just gonna try it and find out here. And uh, I just simply eat my mangoes. Well, I could do it like this, so I don't just get my whole face in it and be embarrassing to my wife who's filming here, thankfully for me. Thank you, honey bunny. And here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. There it is. Let's try it. This could very well be the latest mango. I have one more though, because I could set the record again tomorrow, but it's not as soft as this one. So February 4th, California produced mango. Oh man. Mm. It's amazing. I feel like, you ever gone to the mango festival in Florida during the time of year where there's just mangoes all over the street? You can just smell them throughout the city. That's what, when I taste this one, that's what I go to mentally that time of year in that place. Um, it is so good. 
So this is actually a Valencia pride mango, which is the, this tree here. Probably planting this tree and some other trees and some pots out here on the uh, balcony soon. And believe it or not, this thing is actually actively pushing buds right now. The other one out there is really pushed the buds. I made a video about that not too long ago, so I won't pontificate too far on that. But um, yeah, so uh, I want to know, has anybody eaten a mango later than uh, February 4th that they picked from California trees? I know that they can't do it from Florida trees because, you know, it's impossible. But um, yeah, the, the other thing to know about mangoes, when you're done with your skin, it's really good to take your skin and put it into a big glass of water in the refrigerator, and then you'll have this essence of mango water. It's really good. And uh, anyway, so just know that you yourself can grow mangoes here in Northern California. Um, you just have to give them the hottest spot possible, the most reflected sun possible, sun all winter long, ideally reflected off walls or windows. Um, hopefully you were in a decent microclimate to begin with and not in the bottom of a valley floor where it just freezes every year. But if you keep these things above 28 degrees, there's no reason you can't have mangoes like this all winter long and from fall to winter. Valencia Pride, come on down to Golden Gate Palms. We're going to have a whole bunch of these available soon.